All right, here you go. We've just pulled over at the giant red gun. We've left Burrow this morning, come through Petersburg. Looked at the bike museum, the old mate out there. And we've come down to have this giant red gun. Its circumference is 10.89 meters. It's estimated to be 500 years old. It's signposted as you're driving out of Petersburg towards Aru. Aru, or someplace like that. And, uh, and there it is there. Good place to stop out for lunch break anyway. But uh, yeah, from here we're gonna head out to Williamton or something. And that'll um, be our afternoon for day four. And there's a toy museum, toy and puppet museum, something like that. So we'll Oh, we'll have a check and see what that looks like when we get there. Well, we'll get back in the car and make some, make some miles. Alright, so, where are we? We're at Kimber. Kimber. We stayed at the roadhouse last night. It was $30 for a powered site. There's free camping up the road, but it was like the fish market on Good Friday. It wasn't very fully packed. Um, so we got at Kimber? We got the big glare and the silo art. I'll take a photo of each of them and then we're going to shoot off to Pildapper Rock, which is like two hours west of here. Then I'll... There you go, the big gla. It was erected in 1993. Now apart from the silo, which I took a photo of because by the time you muck around with all the uh, regulations and permits in order to fly your drone, you get a thing uh, I gave up and there's another fellow there with a DJI trying to get his gun too and he gave up and in the end we got stood on the table and took a photo of our phone yeah, so there's two servos in town and this one was the roadhouse uh, we stayed at the roadhouse it was $24 for uh, unpowered site $30 for a powered site but the uh, showers and toilets and that all really clean and being a roadhouse, you got yeah. You've got uh, so being a roadhouse, you've got 24 hours a day food and supermarket and fuel. So that all worked out well. Anyway, we're about to leave here and head towards Build Upper Rock. It's like nearly lunchtime now, so we'll eventually get going. Uh, we've done shopping and mucked around silos and all this, and uh, give you an update once we get to. Build up a rock and see what's going on out there. All right, heading out towards uh, Build up a rock from Sedona, and you come across this sculpture here. It's the Australian farm sculpture, done in 2009. And the funny, unique little thing is. You get the story from here, but you actually crank the handle like a magneto in order to make the electricity. So the story will talk to you. Pretty trick. Never seen one of them before. Alright, that's the um supposed to be the farm of the sheep around the base. Okay, filled up old rock. This large granite outcrop dome is an exposed part of a granite doodle which introduced the crystal rocks at a great depth 5 kilometers, one and a half thousand million years ago. The rock shows joining a number of directions of directions, all of which have contributed to its web and current shape. On the face of features such as big pits, pans, uh, rock basin, water-worn grooves, wave shape caused by the moist soil in contact with the rock causing the granite to weather inwards. Okay. Build up a rock. Point. Right, we're up the this is uh, the 
the entry point. Walk up here and see us how we go. That's some flies for lunch, that'd be great. Nothing around my head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stayed in a caravan park, a uh, foreshore caravan park. It's only like $37 a night for power to site. Brand new showers, everything right on the shore. Our back to the door of the caravan opened straight onto the water pretty much. And we're driving out to Lake McDonald today, the Pink Lake. And we just pulled up in Penong. Penong? How many playing Penong? I think Penong. Anyway, and there's a windmill museum. Uh, it's just a bunch of uh, windmills all thrown in a little paddock. There's a few signs, bits and pieces, so you know what it's about. And it's a good place to stretch the legs. They have some whopping big ones here. Can't really get that one in the screen. So this big old girl here and they've got little notes on who they are and what they're all they all seem to have names this one here's called Bruce the big sucker 35 foot 10.6 meters PB pattern what are they built 1932 so Penong Windmill Warriors was the best community project 2016 Penong Windmill story was um, it all started in the year 2000 Friday Arvo to get together the windmill idea started while having a few social hiccups in Tim and Jenny Hardy's rural supplies workshop 16 odd years ago Bob and Jill Oates long time friends and neighbours were set up in a caravan park next door to the rural supplies and both felt that there was a need for an attraction in the area at the time, travellers crossing the Nullarbor via Air Highway had always referred to Pen Penong as the town of windmills due to the array of windmills on the adjacent flats. And there is, as you come into town, there's just windmills all over the paddocks everywhere. Um, so they may uh, supply the town of farmers with water. But these windmills were gradually being replaced with solar pumps and the town was losing its identity history. So Bob and Tim decided that windmills uh, were the key ingredient in creating historical attraction to benefit the town. Uh, so many drinks and smokes and ideas later, it was concluded that a windmill museum showcase, uh, they'd start the windmill museum to showcase all the types of windmills uh, used by farmers throughout the Penong and uh, Penong area and it quickly came and turned into this. Mm -hmm. 